Computer programming is dying. You must have heard of this recently along with the news that Google is shutting down all of their coding competitions like CodeJam and Kickstart. And as soon as this news came, a lot of people started making videos and saying things like this is the end of computer programming and computer programming is slowly dying. And from those people, one special person was Kunal Kushwaha, who obviously has a huge beef with Indian computer programmers and computer programming in general. So I thought that it is best that I also put forward my opinions on the matter because I've been a very active member of computer programming community, especially in India. And I've had a lot of computer programmers on this channel, on my channel. I've had Aryan, I've had Udit Sanghi, Rajarshi and Blue Diamond. And I've spoken a lot about why computer programming is important or how to do computer programming, how to improve in it, the benefits of it. So I've spoken a lot about computer programming in my channel. So I wanted to put forward like what I think of what is happening. So first let's understand what is happening, why this is happening. So the main reason is obviously computer programming is not so much popular. So why is computer programming decreasing in popularity? Why are not many people doing computer programming? Like what is the main reason for that? So the primary reason for that I believe is people are always looking for shortcuts. Okay, people don't want to put in the work, people just want to go after shortcut. That's why you see if someone has a course like learn full stack in 30 days, then everyone will be going towards that. Like there was a video, right? How I learned full stack in 30 days and it had millions plus views. So people want shortcuts. People don't want to spend a lot of time into, you know, learning these skills. And if you give one month to computer programming, then you'll get nowhere. You'll just see a minimum improvement and you will see no benefit if you just do it for one month. You need to spend in some time. You need to invest some time in order to improve in computer programming or actually get benefit out of it. So people want shortcut. People are always looking for shortcut. That's why we have these paid courses and all these scams and stuff like that. Okay. Which is obviously wrong, but it is what it is. And computer programming also requires a lot of consistency. If you want to become good in it, if you want to reap its benefit, then you'll have to do it consistently. You cannot just do it for one month, then leave two months, then do one month again. You need to be consistent in it and you need to put in some level of hard work to improve in computer programming. So that is there. And apart from that, you know that Google has been doing a lot of things to cut their operational cost. You know, they've been doing a lot of cost cutting since quite some time now, laying off so many people. And now they have discontinued this because they see that this is not bringing them monetary benefit. They're not, it's not a profitable business model for them. So this is the thing. Now, the main thing is what should you do as an individual? What should you do? So first understand that computer programming is not just one website like code forces. Computer programming is not just code forces or code chef or code jam. It's not a particular contest. It's not a particular website. It is more than that. What is the essence of computer programming? Like what is it in a simple layman term? It is you competing against other programmers to solve problems in a time frame. Simple as that. So it is basically solving problems. So no one can dispute the fact that if you do computer programming, it will automatically improve your problem solving skills and it will improve your time management because like I said, you have a time limit and it will improve your thinking ability. So if you are doing an open source project, like Kunal Kushwa says, you know, if you're doing an open source project, if you're making an app, if you're making a website, then at the end of it, you can show that as a product. You can show that, that I've done this. I've made an app. I've made a website. I've contributed to this open source project. But if you're doing computer programming for six months, you don't have anything to show for it. It is a skill that you cannot show off, but it is a skill that gives you an edge over other candidates that improves your problem solving, you know, capability. So you cannot show it. It's not a product. It's not a project, but it's the skill has developed in your mind. The skill has developed in your brain. And once you have that problem solving skill, then you can take part in anything, whether you want to do app development, open source, Android, whatever. One more thing to be covered here which is uh, which something Gunal Kishwa also said, and that is right, that especially in India, a lot of people are doing computer programming just to get placed in a company, which is obviously not a correct fact because you don't need computer programming to get placed in a company. It will definitely help you, but you don't need it. You can just do lead code. You can just solve a lot of basic problems, do these DSA sheets, etc., and you will definitely be able to get placed in a good company. But if you want to improve your problem solving skills, and definitely if you are interested in computer programming, then 100% go forward. Don't stop doing it. 
and if you want to improve your problem solving skills you can definitely try your hand in computer programming it is a great thing and it will never bring you disadvantage okay now obviously you should not just do computer programming do more things than that try other things also but you can do computer programming as well computer programming will never bring you a disadvantage it will improve your skills it will give you a better thinking ability than the other people but it will never bring you a disadvantage you know it's like what the old people the elderly always used to say ki padha hua kabhi barbad nahi hota padha hua kabhi barbad nahi hota meaning whatever you learn never goes to waste okay whatever you learn will only be beneficial to you if you're learning something in educ in the field of education it will only be beneficial to you it's not going to bring you a disadvantage okay so if you want to do computer programming then god speed try your hand in it give contest solve problems and you will definitely improve your programming skills improve your problem solving skills improve your programming logic and it will definitely give you a skill that you can use anywhere now as for the future of computer programming <coughs> now as for the future of computer programming do i think computer programming will die out well no computer programming is a form of programming so as long as programming is there some form of computer programming will always be there okay even if it's not being held on a international scale even if they stop icpc even if they are not holding any big contest there will always be coding contest it might be on a school level it might be on a college level or you know people will always solve problems because it is a good thing it's not a bad thing you know computer programming is not a bad thing that people are demonizing now that don't do it don't do it don't do it it's not like that as long as programming is there people will still continue to do computer programming code forces has been growing as you can see especially in the lockdown period like over the years it has grown a lot so computer programming will be there even if the popularity decreases increases we don't know but as long as programming is there computer programming will also be there in one form or the other so that's pretty much it do computer programming if you want if you don't like it if you just want to get placed then you don't need to do it you can but you don't need to so that's pretty much it you know it is a huge topic but i want you to have the right knowledge on it because half knowledge or the wrong knowledge is poison for the brain okay so i want you to have the right mindset and the right knowledge so that's pretty much it if you have any other doubts if you want to ask me something then feel free to put me in the comments i like to have a good discussion in the comment section so put it in the comments and i'll be sure to answer and that's it for today's video until we see you again thank you